Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to add user in Nordish course for Thrivecart payment. Now, let's say that I have different products in Thrivecart and these are various courses. So here I want that every time a user has purchased a particular product, which means a particular course in Thrivecart, which is a shopping cart platform, then automatically the same user should be added to that particular course in Nordish, which is an online course platform. Now to do this, we will have to integrate Thrivecart and Nordish and we can do the same using Public Connect. So here my trigger is Thrivecart and my action application will be Nordish. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is a dashboard of Public Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. If you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. Also, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once you have reached the dashboard, on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box has appeared and here you have to name your workflow. So here I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to add user and knowledge course for Thrivecart payment. Now here I'm going to click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this, when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of our trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you make a payment, and you swipe your card, then you get a response on SMS. So a notification is received about the amount debited. How does that happen? With the help of automation. In such a case, your trigger is the payment gateway and your action application can be any application with the help of which you can send this SMS. Let's come to our use case. So here my trigger application will be Thrivecart. Let's click on this. Then comes the trigger event. So the trigger event here will be product purchase. Let's click on connect. As we do that here, Pabli Connect wants to connect with Thrivecart account. I'm going to select add new connection as I'm setting up this connection for the first time. Now here to set up, we need this token. How can we receive this? First, you have to log into your Thrivecart account. I already have done that. Then click on this hyperlink API and webhook. Here we have to go to API keys. And now here I'm going to create a new API key. So let's say the name is test new key now i'm going to click on create api and here i'm going to copy the api received go back to Pabli connect paste the same here click on save to set up this connection and once this is done now let's scroll down here we have to enter the name of the product and product status now since this is just a test case so here the status is selected as test mode and now we have to enter the name of the product so this here is my thrivecart account Let's go to the various products that I have created. And here I have created this product, which is advanced PHP. So here I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And now here I'm going to select advanced PHP. As I click on save and send test request. So here you can see that here it is waiting for the webhook response. Basically to check if Pabli Connect and Thrivecart are properly integrated or no, we are going to do a test submission. Going back to Thrivecart, here this is the name of the course. I'm going to click on get URL, view checkout. And now here we have to fill in the contact information. So let's say the name here is test new. Then we have the email address which is test new at pablitudes.com then we have the phone number which is plus nine one now i'm going to click on continue and here we have to enter the payment information so i'm going to click on this and here i'm going to enter the mock card details let's say the cvc here is one two three i'm going to click on complete order and here we can see that the payment has been done. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's understand if we have received the response. So yes, the webhook response has been captured. And here is the Thrivecut account. Now, as I take you down, so this is the name of the course. Now, again, 
let's go down here we have got the customer name this is the last name here we have the first name then we have the email address and then we have the contact number now once we have received this information the user who has just made the payment i want to add that user in a particular course in nordish account so here my next application is going to be nordish so this here is an online course platform the action event here will be to add user to a course let's click on connect here public connect wants to connect with nordish account i have selected add new connection now to set up this connection we need the website url and the api key first log into your nordish account so this here is my nordish account here you have to go to settings within settings we have got integrations now within integration we have public connect tab and now this here is the url and the public connect key so i'm going to copy this url go back to public connect paste the same here this here is the public connect key so i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and as api key i have pasted this now let's click on save and as we do that we can see nordish and public connect are now connected now here let's map this information how so as i click on this you can see the previous step and as we scroll down so here we can see this here is the customer's name now this method with which i have added the information is known as mapping it is important so that every time the workflow runs in real time it can take the new data into consideration next is the email address so let's follow the same process this here is the email address then send create password email now here enter either 0 or 1 so basically if you will enter 0 so it is like don't send email and if you enter 1 it will be send email here i'm going to write 1 then we have course id i'm going to now take you to knowledge account let's go to different courses we have here we have advanced php course now here in the address bar you can see course id equals to so this is the id Please copy this, go back to public connect, paste the same here. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. As we do that, here we can see that we have received the response and the application has processed. So now I'm going to take you back to Nourish. Let's go to courses. And here I'm going to advanced PHP course. And here we can see that test new at publitudes.com. This particular user has been added. So this means our integration is a success now let's check the same in real time so taking you back to thrive card here again i'm going to click on view checkout for advanced php course let's fill in the information so let's say the name is strange user this here is the email address and then here we have got the phone number now i'm going to click on continue let's enter the mock details and here complete order and once the payment is successful now i'm going to take you to nourish and here i'm going to refresh this page and here we can see that strange user has been added here as another user in this course so this means our integration is a success taking you back to public connect let's understand what we have done so here our trigger was thrive cart where the event was product purchase then our action application was nourish where the event was to add user to course i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com connect to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.